I feel compelled to make a quick video about what I think is the worst purchase that I've made for my Harley Davidson Road King, and that is the Rider Backrest. First, I'll show you how this attaches here. This is what you have to install to get the backrest in under your seat. There are kind of two main pieces here. One is this, which is obviously what your passenger pa your rider backrest is going to stick into. And then it attaches to your frame up here using this black extension piece. You'll notice these large washers. And what those are are pieces that I added to try to adjust the angle upwards a little bit because it was not fitting my stock seat sufficiently. And then underneath that, you see the wiring that's associated with uh, a tail light mod that I have. So you can ignore that. That's not part of the kit. Really what we're looking at are these two bolts that mount it and then these bolts that hook it to the frame. So it has three attachment points. This is the Road King Classic Rider Backrest, but it's the same design. It just has that basket weave pattern on this particular model. And the way it attaches is the spring mechanism, which you can then put in and then attach at various you know, heights as you see fit. And just inserting this, you can see one of my big complaints, which is the substantial side-to-side -side motion in this backrest. Right, you can hear that, it's clunky. If you look at this, I barely use this thing. Day one, I inserted it and it got all scratched up. Are you satisfied with that? I'm not. You'll also notice that it has the same motion front to back, right? Which, sure, these are spring-loaded. You know it's going to have some side-to-side -side motion, but it's just really, really sloppy fit. So right now I'm going to install the stock seat so you can see how it interfaces with that, and then I'll put on my sundowner. Okay, this is the fully installed stock 2008 Road King Classic seat. Um, the only difference is we don't have the strap here because uh, I don't have it on here permanently, but that strap is another problem. I'll get to that in a minute. All right, going for going for a ride. Want to install my driver backrest. You gotta try to reach in here and feel it. Now, the base, the base for this is so far back that you need to pull on it, stick your fingers so you can feel it, and then like. wedge it in there right and even this is this is after modifying the base to try to make a more appropriate angle to get this thing in there so all right say you're satisfied with this okay let me tuck this skirt in wait a minute it's not long enough to even stay in there so you move your backrest around and it just comes right out and looks like crap like, sure, you can bend this forward so your passenger can have an easier time. But it's just like, seriously, like this is the type of fit and finish that you would expect from Harley Davidson. All right, let's take it out. This is supposed to be adjustable and it's forward to back motion through this machine screw that's accessible through the back. You turn that, it does absolutely nothing. Seriously, nothing. So my primary complaint is that the mounting bracket is just too far backwards under the passenger seat on the Road King Classic, even at its farthest adjustment point. You can see that there are a number of places that you can add, the like that you can screw it in to adjust the forward back and the angle, and just none of them work well on the stock seat. All right, let me slap my sundowner on, which is one of the best purchases I've made for this bike. This is also the Road King Classic Edition, so you got the nice basket weave and the emblem. It's pretty sharp. Really like the seat a lot. Sort of gets into this, so I have a herniated disc in my lower back, and that's why I was exploring the option of using the rider backrest, and it really doesn't help at all. What did help was this seat, which has just a lot more lower back support than the stock. So I would definitely recommend upgrading your seat before you get a rider backrest, and only then exploring a rider backrest as a supplement to a good seat.
the geometry of the Sundowner works slightly better, but still not well. So I can feel the insert back here. All right. It actually unclicked there, if you notice. So you could see how you or your passenger might accidentally kick it and then unhinge it. And it's like, look at that. It's just, it just came out. <laughs> The reason that I'm posting this video review on YouTube is because I posted a short and perfectly reasonable critical review of this product on the Harley Davidson website and they took it down because Harley Davidson censors any negative reviews and all that I put in that review was exactly what's in this video. Nothing unreasonable, nothing mean. <laughs> like perfectly reasonable and they took it down and I think that's inappropriate. I love this Harley-Davidson motorcycle but Harley-Davidson as a company really has to get its act together. I do think it would be good to demonstrate what a good backrest looks like. This is the passenger backrest that clips on using these quick release mechanisms and this is a very well designed backrest. So this requires mounting hardware in the back here that you can't really see but once that's in there rock solid. This is a good design. I mean, yes, this is more important because your passenger needs to have faith that their backrest isn't going to fail on them, but I think this is a model of what Harley-Davidson could be doing if they put in the effort and made their mounts fit their bikes. Oh, so I forgot to mention when I had the stock seat on that if you do have the passenger grab strap installed here, then that makes it even more awkward because you have to like stretch it around the base and it's putting extra pressure on it and it just doesn't work well. So in conclusion, passenger backrest, great. Rider backrest, not so great. And I would not recommend it. Again, I love Harley Davidson motorcycles. I don't mean to be unreasonably critical of them, but this is something that I would recommend if you're looking at it spend your money elsewhere. This is not a good product. Thanks for watching and let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see on this bike that I might be able to help you out with.